work in the Accelerated Materials Design and Discovery Program is to try to build the tools and the capabilities for designing new materials rapidly in the future. Here at Carnegie Mellon, we have a project related to building a system which can automatically find better electrolytes for batteries. How do I make the best electrolyte electrode combination that works for the lowest cost, is the most robust, and has the most energy inside of it? So that's the question we're asking, and we're asking it in a different way. We're making a setup to sort of screen through these different electrolyte electrode options to find things that are what we call co-optimal, that are working together in the best way possible. There are over 50 million organic compounds known today, and all of these are potentially viable candidates for use as an organic solvent in a non-aqueous lithium-ion battery. Uh, and so in order to down-select from this 50 million to a manageable set that we can test, we need simulation tools uh, that allow us to bridge that gap and bring that 50 million down to of the order of hundreds, which we can use then in our autonomous platform to optimize. So the system involves both a robot, which can conduct the experiments with no human intervention, but also AI, or artificial intelligence, algorithms, which can be used to guide and direct the, the next set of experiments. What's novel is that we're tying this directly with artificial intelligence and machine learning. So all of a sudden, we have this system that not only can do hundreds or thousands of different experiments, but it can also do them in a way that are directed. So each experiment, as it goes, is informed by the previous experiment and is informed by all the prior experiments as well. So a gigantic database is built, baselines are created, and then subsequent experiments are informed by all that data. So the robot is going to do this experiment, and then AI is going to make decision what kind of experiments to run and how to set up the parameters of those experiments. What we hope to find is electrolytes which are cheaper, safer, which allow the battery to last longer, at lower cost, with less toxicity. We're trying to optimize many, many different parameters at the same time. Many of these things are very difficult to predict, and so it can only be done by testing. And the first part of this project is creating that tool, and it will be functional before the end of this year.